Tanner, Aaron Boone made the comment that Gary Sanchez has looked very at ease behind the plate. What stood out to you about the way Sanchez has looked here early in 2021? Um, I think I'd echo, you know, the same thing. I, it's it's a it's a combination of of comfort, confidence, um, and just an overall refined process. I think you know he's he's really committed himself um, this off season to to diving in and and uh, you know not just refining you know the techniques and and the initiatives that we we started last year, but really owning them. Um, I think the dynamic has really evolved from maybe a, a, a coach to player directive to now I think a true kind of partnership where his, his voice is really, um, it, it's really strengthened and, and the communication I think is, has improved and continues to evolve. Um, but, but just his overall process has been the most impressing thing, um, regardless of you know the, the early results we're seeing, um, you know the work he's putting in behind the scenes and, and the commitment level um, is, is has been really positive. When you look back to last season, how much of it was not buying in, and how much of it was him just needing more reps and more time? I think it was the later. I, I never questioned the buy-in. Um, I, I don't think he he would have. Um, you know, gone through some of the adjustments if he didn't believe that they were um, in his best interest. I, I think he believed them all along. Um, I just think in the middle of a season, it's it's extremely challenging to 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 really expand and, and experiment. And um, you know, when you're when you're going through the type of overhaul that that uh, that we went through last year. Um, it, it, it requires time, and sometimes the middle of a season is, is not the best time to be trying new things. So, you know, a bulk of the work was done in spring training. We kind of laid the foundation, and then um, we largely kind of went with what we had at that point and, and tried to make small refinements along the way. But, but really, the off season, in my opinion, is is the best time to really dig in um, and, and kind of evaluate, you know, the the strengths, the weaknesses, the maybe the limitations, and, and how we can continue to make refinements. Um, to, to make the system even more robust. And, and I think this offseason has, has really allowed him to do that. Um, and, you know, there were a lot of people involved. Aaron Gershenfeld, our, our minor league catching coordinator, Julio Mosquero, has, has really stepped in and, and been a, a, a big contributor in terms of um, just the collective effort. And, um, but, but largely it's been Gary. He's been driving the ship. And, um, and, and that's been, the, I think, the, the most impressive part. Tanner, it's still early in spring, but what's an area that you would still like to see him continue to grow? Um, I, th I think just continue to refine the moves. Um, I think we're we're seeing fewer of the kind of the mishaps in terms of um, you know pitches within the zone that that maybe he doesn't catch as, as well as he would like. Um, I think those are becoming fewer and fewer, and and. The overall just adjustability has been a, a, a big focus. Um, you know, when you you expect the ball in and it's it's away, or you expect it up and it's thrown down, and and just being able to adjust to mislocations or unexpected movement, and and so we've really tried to enhance kind of the variability um, from a training standpoint, um, and I think we're seeing some early carryover into the games, and and so that's that's really been the 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 bulk of, of kind of what we're trying to accomplish behind the scenes is is to is to create a really sound process a really sound routine um, where we can maximize reps but also manage you know workload um, you know so so he's not just trying things for the first time you know when when the lights come on tanner thank you so much for the time